All right, so let's start building our hands. So before I get into building the hands, I just want to squash this wrist down so that it's a little thinner, more like a, a human wrist. So because this character is pretty lanky, I want to get the the base of the hands, even just the hands to be pretty long, just to stay consistent with the rest of his proportions. Okay now so because we extruded the arm out and you can see this arm is tilted, it's on an angle, but it's relative to his torso. And this character is being modeled in his general posture. This would be his natural posture. So because of that our move tool is oriented to world space. So I don't want to uh, adjust the hand this way. I want to actually pull it down on the same angle that I'm pulling these faces out. If you go to the move tool in the toolbar and you double click on it, you'll see axis orientation. Right now it's set to world and that's usually what I keep it on but for this particular area where I'm modeling the hand, just to model this hand because the whole arm is, is tilted on an angle. If we click on the arrow next to where it says world, you have some other options. You can orient your, your move tool to the component. So if we click on the component, you'll see that our move tool switched to being on the same orientation as the actual component that we have selected. So I'm just gonna close that up for now. We can change it back to world later. But for now, I wanna have it oriented this way so that when I, when I make the adjustments, it's pulling it straight out. All right, so I'm gonna put an edge loop in here just to shape the hand a little bit better. So let's get the thumb extruded first. So we'll extrude a couple more times here for the knuckle, just so we get a nice bend. Okay, so for hand proportions, when the thumb is closed, the tip of the thumb should be somewhere between the first knuckle and the second knuckle of the finger. If we just sort of eyeball this and just, just to get it generally close, if we swing that thumb shut, it's going to be around right about here. So we want the knuckle, the first knuckle to be maybe back here a little bit because we want the tip of the thumb to be between the first and second knuckle of the, of the finger. So we're going to, so that we have the palm a little bit too long here. So we're going to just bring this back. We're going to need to use the multi-cut tool to make some faces at the front of the hand so that we can extrude the fingers out. And I can see we're running out of room. We're not going to have enough space for the middle finger and index finger. So I'm going to move these faces over a little bit. Let's just do them all at the same time. So I'm going to select all these faces here. Go to extrude. The fingers are going to bend at the knuckles, of course, so we're going to extrude about two more times. So we're going to use our scale, and it'll scale all of them individually. All right, so we have our hand roughed in. Now I'm just going to go through and just sort of finesse and add in some edge loops here and there. All right, so the first thing I want to look at is I want to get the, the ball of the thumb here. All right, so I think the quickest way to get the arc for the fingers, we're going to use a soft selection. So I'm just going to grab the top face of the middle finger and the bottom face of the middle finger, and we can just drag that out. You can see the move tool is oriented in the proper direction, so we'll just pull that out so the knuckles have a bit of a arc to them.
All right, so I've almost completed the hand, created some extrusions for the knuckles. It's always good to extrude the knuckles out a little bit. Uh, extruded them up and just scaled down the top face a little bit. I also added some additional edge loops in between each knuckle and just pulled out these, these edges at the bottom just to give the fingers a little bit of meat on them, just for some muscle in between each knuckle. And I did that for these knuckles as well, just to finish off the fingers and just move some of the edges to give the fingertips a little bit of thickness. There's a couple areas here where I had to just attach the edge loop to a point, creating a three-sided polygon. And you can see how it creates a little bit of an imperfection here. We can fix that with the sculpt tool just by smoothing that area out. And any other imperfections in the character, uh, we can use the sculpt tool at the very end to finesse it even further. All right, so next we're gonna start working on the feet. All right, so before we start to extrude faces for the feet, I'm just gonna straighten out some of the vertices. You can see here they're kind of uneven. So let's just go to Vertex. I'm just going to snap these to the grid. So this is just to get the faces completely flat here in the side view. Let's turn off our snap to grid. And I'm just going to select all these and bring them back up. Now we want to have a lot of edge loops here because this is the ankle area. All right, so in the drawing, we have our toes pointed out a little bit, but we're not going to do that for the model. We're going to just model the feet straight out. Uh, ankles are usually tapered in a little bit. So we're going to just select these vertices here. I'm just going to narrow out the ankle a little bit before we start to extrude. And we'll begin to extrude. We'll just do it in the side view first. And we'll scale that out a bit and then we'll extrude again. I'm going to make the vertices around these faces even in the X dimension. Now remember the feet bend, so we want to have quite a few edge loops here, but we'll just add the edge loops after. Right now I just want to get the, the basic form. I'll go to vertex and let's get the basic shape in. Now let's thicken up the foot. We can just grab these faces here and use our scale. Oh, our scale is set to component. Let's just change that to world. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna split the polygons here because I want to create this arch. Well, I want to keep the front of the heel down, and we'll get the rounded shape for the tip of the toes. Get out of component mode and let's hit three on the keyboard and take a look at the feet. All right, so I'm gonna add a couple of extra edge loops just to tighten up the mesh a little bit on the feet. We're gonna want these feet to, to flex and bend. So we wanna have a little bit more mesh in there, more edge loops. All right, so that probably changed our model a little bit. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna form that a little bit better.
Okay, that's looking okay. The ankles are just looking a little bit lumpy still. I'm just going to fix that up a little bit. All right, so the hands and feet are pretty much complete. As I mentioned before, we're going to do a final refining pass on everything when we're done.